Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the C Backup online backup storage platform. And what this will do is it will allow you to combine your uh, uh, Dropbox, OneDrive, and Google Drive cloud storage all into one location and share the storage between them. And it also offers backup and synchronization tasks. And then also when you sign up, they'll give you some additional space on their own platform. So if you use the free plan, you get the 50 gigs of data traffic, but you get 10 gigs of additional storage space. Uh, the basic, you get one terabyte, and premium, you get five terabytes. So once you sign up, you just go to the uh, website here, and you'll also have an app, which I have running down here. You could use them both. Some things you uh, have to use the uh, app for, and some things you have to use the website for, which I don't really like, but you could pretty much do everything from the app. So if you go to your storage here, you could see that I have a combined cloud. with drop. I added my Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive. And here's my storage, and then the combined cloud is 1.02 terabytes, which is the total of these. And then I have my C backup cloud, the free 10 gigs, which is right here. And then if you have other uh, Dropbox, Drive, or OneDrive accounts, you can add them to here as well. Or you could have an additional combined cloud with other accounts, so you could do all kinds of combinations here. And then you have your sync section here, uh, where you could sync your public, your sync your PC, local PC to public cloud. So local PC to one of your cloud storage platforms here, or you could sync public cloud to the public cloud, and that this one you have to use the uh, web app. So if you click on it, it should take you there, and you can start a new task from there. So it's a little confusing when you first start using it because there's a lot of different things you could do, and just kind of figuring out where you have to do, or you know where you have to go for each one, and what it's doing exactly. Uh, so you have to kind of play with it for a bit. And in the backup section, there's a uh, backup PC to public cloud. So this is not a sync, this is a backup where you could restore files after you back it up. Then you have backup PC to combined cloud. So here's the 1.02 terabytes, so it'll back it up to my combined cloud, which is my three platforms together. Now keep in mind, if you want to remove one of your platforms, let's say you want to get your Dropbox account out of there, if there's an associated task like a backup or sync, you're going to have to uh, remove that task first before it'll let you you know, detach your cloud for it. So if you're wondering how, what happens if you remove a cloud service, you know, after you have a backup setup, that's what happens. Okay, so we got a PC to C backup cloud. So here's a PC backup, local backup to the uh, free uh, backup cloud here that they give you. And you have to, to restore it, you, you have to use this interface because that's the only way you can get to, to the free C, back, C backup cloud storage that they give you. All right, then we have cloud to cloud. So we could go Dropbox to Drive or, you know, back and forth in between all these here. And then we have public cloud to combined cloud. So you could take some data from one of these and put them in your combined cloud type of thing. And then you have the sync sections here, which is what we just looked at. And then your tasks. Uh, so when you have, once you start a task, they'll be shown here. And like a backup task, you could run again. And a sync test, you could run again or check the options. So let's go to backup here. Let's do a... PC backup to the C backup cloud. So let's say we're going to go to this confidential files folder here. We're going to back it up to the cloud here. Click on start. And then it goes right to your tasks, initializing the task. It'll take a few minutes to back it up. Okay, so that's complete. So you could run the backup again. You could schedule it if you want to edit it. Just turn on the schedule. I'll look at the settings. Here's a scheduler, email notifications, filters. Restore, back to the original location, or you can specify another location. And check your versions and delete the, let, delete the job. And check the details, how much it backed up, source and destination, just like that. So now if we do a backup PC to public cloud, let's say let's do that same folder, and let's do it to our OneDrive account here. Click on Start Backup. So you can see it gives it a generic name, so once you run the job or when you create it, you could give it a different name, so it's not just using File Backup 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Okay, that's done. So if we go to the uh, details here, we can see it went from local to OneDrive. So let's go to our OneDrive account here. So now for this type of backup, for the file to uh, individual specific cloud, it makes a C Backup folder. 
and then file backup one to match the job name, computer name, drive letter, confidential files, just like that. So just keep that in mind when you're doing a, this type of backup. Okay. Let's go over to the sync settings here. Let's do a new, new sync here. So here you could edit the name if you want to do that. So let's do a uh, Dropbox Hawaii Photos. And then we'll back it up to OneDrive Pictures. And then like I said, you could change the name here. We call this uh, DB to OneDrive Picks. Start the sync. Okay, so that's done. So once again, you can see the same things here. So we went from Dropbox to OneDrive with Hawaii Photos. Let's go to OneDrive. Into Pictures. And let's find the uh, matching files here. So we see what we got here. So beach, palm trees, and rainbow. Beach, palm trees, and rainbow. So one thing to keep in mind for the sync, it doesn't copy the folder. It'll just sync the files from that folder from the source into the uh, destination folder without copying the source folder itself. So like I said, so if you sync this Hawaii Photos folder here, it's not going to make a Hawaii Photos folder at the destination. It's just going to put the individual files. So keep that in mind uh, when you're doing sync jobs. And then, of course, you have your settings under your account, how much you're using and that kind of thing. And you could upgrade from here, check for updates and so on. So it's, you know, it's a pretty cool way to kind of combine your cloud uh, storage into one. So like I said, if you have multiple drive accounts and you want to use all that space for one in one location and so on, just keep in mind, like I said, uh, when you have the, uh, when you put stuff in the C backup cloud, you have to manage it from here. And if you want to remove um, one of your cloud storage accounts from your combined cloud, you have to remove any tasks that's set to go along with it. Otherwise, it's not going to let you uh, remove it because it just uses an logarithm to decide where it's going to put it in your shared storage. So you don't really know uh, which one of these accounts is using how much of the storage for that particular job if you're sending it to your combined cloud, if that makes sense. So I'll put a link in the description. You could... Uh, Sign up for the free account, and if you like it, you could take it from there. And if you need more space, you could try one of the premium plans and back up your files. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.